If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. Hey everybody, welcome back to another deck profile. I'm Richard. Today we're doing our DBT09, the Grea deck profile. So we got not a lot of the Grea specific support. I'm looking forward to the Glitter support in set 11, but I decided since I uh, I did throw in a new card and uh, I did get my Oath of Vengeance the Grea, so I thought it's about time we do an updated deck profile. So let's just go ahead and jump into what our set nine meta Thagrea deck look like. Starting off with our ride deck. I am running Maple in the ride deck. So our starter is our traditional Maple Stir. <laughs> you ride it, and then if you go on second, you draw. And instead of the grade one Thagrea, I'm running Maple in the ride deck. So what Maple does is when you persona ride, if this is in the drop zone, um, you can call this to a rear guard circle and then it has a glitter effect where uh, when it's in the back row and another unit in the same column as it stands, you can restand it. So this can go behind your restand target for light the gray, it can go behind dark the gray for when it restands. So that way you can, um, you know, proc that off. So I'm running it in the right deck because the plan is to soul blast it out, have it in your drop immediately and just call it out you know, without having to fish for it through the deck. Also, the effect of the grade one, we write on the grade two, has the chance to like, kind of whiff if you reveal a grade three. It gets kind of funky. So having this set up where you can just have immediate access to this is really nice. Then we're running the grade two Thagria, uh, which is when a Thagria grade three rides it, you can look at the top five, add a Thagria or Maple to your hand. So uh, this includes Oath of Vengeance Thagria, the order. So you can search it out with the uh, the grade two ride, which is really, really nice. And then our main ride of the deck is one who walks the path, the, <laughs> the path of light, the Grea. Uh, just go by light, the Grea. Can build a board, you can restand a rear guard, and uh, because it's the Grea, you can persona ride uh, the light and the dark on top of each other, back to back. So it's our ride deck, a little bit different, and I'm really excited for that list, so can't wait to kind of show that off in the near future. Main deck, we're running our three copies of Light the Grea. So that's, uh, you know, for more Persona rides, more the Grea targets. And then we're also running our three copies of our Dark the Grea. So Bloom and Darkness, the Grea's skill is Persona ride. You can kind of blast, uh, at the end of the Validate Attacks, you can discard a card and kind of blast one and you restand this unit and it gets drive minus one. With the, you know, with the maple that you call behind it, you can get up to like a 41K column uh, just from its swings alone and that's more pressure for your opponent. And it's also just really good. It's first skill lets you retire two of your grade two or less rear guards to retire uh, one of your opponent's columns. So if you want to do a little bit of control, you have access to that as well. And the biggest change in the deck is I am now running my three copies of Oath of Vengeance, the Grea. I don't even want to get started with how much of a hassle it was to get my hands on these, but it's it's such a great addition to the deck. You can play it if you have a Vanguard or Thagrea in its name, and then the Order Zone continuous effect is, so it's a set order, it just sits in your Order Zone. Uh, every time your Persona ride, your front row gets 15k instead of just the 10k, and you can draw two cards instead of one. So those extra two cards make, or that extra card just makes a world of difference, and the 15k is surprisingly crazy. Just 5,000 power. So this is this is just a really, really good card and it's just really hard to find and it's really expensive. Um, so if you are able to get your hands on this, I highly recommend at least uh, running two to three. Even if you can get the one, that's good enough. Um, I don't think you need four. It gets a little clunky at four, but I like it at three just because I want to see it. All right, so that is our grade threes. Now we're going into grade two, starting off with our maples. So I am still running four copies of Atrocious Moth Girl Maple. Uh, what it does is uh, you can, at the end of the battle that it attacks, you soul blast a number of cards. Based on the total grades of the cards soul blasted, you can add a card equal to that grade from your soul to your hand, then this moves to soul afterwards. You don't have to add a card, you can just kind of soul blast if you want to, so that's what's nice about having your, your maple in your ride deck is you can just soul blast this maple, not add anything to your hand, move this to soul, and that way you guarantee this is in the, the drop. So that's one way you can use it. Um, another way is obviously, you know, kind of using it to soul blast a one and a two to grab a three from your soul. Uh, so that's one way to guarantee that you can get the uh, the persona right off and get that maple in your drop zone as well. So four copies, because it's searchable and it's a maple. MVP of the deck right here, Lingo Chat. So what Lingo Chat does is 
If you have a grade three in the soul, this gets 5K in boost. So it's a 15K booster and beater, and you're always, pretty much always gonna have a grade three in your soul. Um, just because of the fact that Persona Riding back to back and uh, Drilling Angel is a card that exists that allows you to put stuff from drop into soul. So for that, because it's a good booster and beater, no matter where you put it, and then we're running four copies of our Drilling Angel. So what Drilling Angel does is you pick a card from drop, put it in your soul, look at top three, choose a card from among them, call it, if you don't, you shuffle. The most important thing is that it adds cards from drop to soul for free. Uh, this works really well with Synergy with Maple, uh, helps you proc off your Lingua Chats, and uh, it also just kind of helps you if you need to get certain grade threes in your soul for like like the greatest skill, you can get that off really early. So. Uh, Drilling Angel is a must for this deck. I highly recommend picking up four if you're going to be playing through Grea. With that, we're moving on to our grade ones. Starting off with our three copies of Painkiller Angel. I did have this at four, I'm now running it at three. Uh, what it does in the battle, you can solve last one, retire itself, draw a card. So this is really good for, um, you know, your maple. So you, early game, if you're on grade two, maybe you just want to put this behind your vanguard, swing, Soul Blast your Maple, and then it's ready for when you Persona Ride. That's one, one way you can do it. This also helps you get the Grade 2 Maples out of your soul, so you can call them from the drop zone. You know, just kind of use it just for that extra hand, which is really nice. And then I am running one copy of the uh, Dragon Tree Wetch Wrench. <laughs> it's a new card from DBT09, Triple R. What it does is you're not going to use the first skill, which is to make a Dragon Tree Marker. You don't need it. Second skill is when a unit's placed in the same column as this, if this is in the back row rear guard circle, you can Counterblast 1, draw a card. So it's a simple way to draw cards. This deck does go through Counterblast a lot, uh, but I do like it just as an option to maybe draw an additional card. It doesn't hurt, um, but if you would like, you can stick with your four painkillers. I've just noticed that um, I run through soul really quickly in this deck, especially with the painkillers and the maples going back to back on each other. And you do want to keep certain cards in your soul, uh, such as your light and your dark thugreas, just to kind of use maple skills. So there is such a thing as too much soul blasting. So I wanted to try something different by trying a different grade one. Uh, still testing this out. Um, you might want to go back and run a Salta if that's something you want to do, or you can just, you know, stick with your four painkillers. Nothing wrong with that either. Sentinels, then for Sentinels, I'm running three uh, Aegis Mirror Dragons. It's our DBT-01 PGs. And then I'm running one Elementaria Sanctitude. Whoops. One Elementaria Sanctitude, uh, just because it's good for certain decks that have Guard Restrict, like Flagbird or some type of weird guard restriction. And it's also good against uh, grade fours, which have triple drive. So it's always a good card to have if you can get your hands on one. That looks like that is it for grade ones. We're now moving on to our triggers. Arborea, which is our OT. So I'm doing Arborea instead of Armatanoa because we don't really run that many cards that are gonna be twin driving on the rear guard circle, safe to say. And also the fact that in both cases of Light and Dark Thurgrea, you're gonna be restanding something. So that means giving two things 100 million is always gonna be good regardless. So your rear guard that restands, your vanguard that restands, whenever you get this off, whenever you get that OT from your twin or you know third drive check, you're gonna have two targets to give that power to. So you're always gonna be able to proc this off. You're always gonna be able to give two things 100 million. You might as well run it. I think, honestly, I feel like this is better in Thurgrea just with all the practice I've had with it. Then I'm running three fronts. This is the front with the shield bonus. So if your opponent's at grade three, gets five shield. Fronts are really good in this deck. Um, also, you don't want to run draws because you will deck out. You're just going through your deck so fast with all the drawing and the spirit calling and the persona writing and the draw too from uh, Oath of Vengeance. So we're going with fronts for this one. For crits, I'm running four of the Blade Feather Dragon. It's uh, just a skill crit. You don't really have to worry too much about skill crits in this deck, but you know, it's it's nice to have, but you don't really need it. So you can do vanilla crits as well. And then speaking of vanilla crits, four of uh, the Bastion Trial Deck one. I always forget his name, Gurgant. How could I forget that? <laughs> four Gurgant. Um, just, you know, we can have our eight crit because crits win games. And then finally, heal triggers three of our vanilla heals, and then I'm running one of the Tear Sorceress. So Tear Sorceress is when your opponent's unit uh, gains a crit, you know, based on a card ability, you can have this unit gain additional 15 shield. So it's really good against decks like Ava, Gravidia, Babzaragra, Barrowmagnes, uh, the list goes on. There's a bunch of decks that gain additional crits, so it's really nice to have this just in case. So 
but the one of is nice. You, yeah, you can stick with the four. Vanillas is fine as well, but you never know. It's not, it's not the worst thing in the world. All right, so that was it for the deck profile. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching the video. I did get a little bit of play testing in this deck with some locals. Um, this card is absolutely insane. And um, thank you to Omar for pointing out the idea of running Maple in my ride deck. Uh, I know people were talking about it a lot, but since I did it in practice, I'm actually really, really, really happy with this because just getting it instantly just makes the deck feel that much more consistent. So try it out. If you haven't tried it out yet, throw your grade one maple in your ride deck. If you don't have Oath of Vengeance, I would say run like Assaultas, run maybe more um, Painkiller Angels, um, play around with the ratios, add more, uh, Add more uh, grade twos that uh, swing and you know call board like Kybreeze and Catwallas. You know those are also really good substitutes as well. So there's a lot of different options, but obviously Ultra Vengeance is a really good card. Get your hands on these if you can. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.